Hey guys, I am now a year into my life in this country and I'm gonna share some of my thoughts with you today, so let's get into it. So the next thing is weather. <laughs> now, we're currently, I'm gonna say nearing the end of winter. There is still snow on the ground from that last snowfall. It has snowed once since, um, but I think that we can safely say <laughs> that the snow is over and that we are starting to get into kind of spring days. It is a bit warmer now, it's maybe above zero um, most days and not too windy but you can definitely notice the nights are getting a lot brighter and it's not as difficult to get out of bed in the morning anymore. So I'm very grateful that there's a bit more sunlight but I am a bit nervous about summer coming back round because I found summer the hardest. Most Icelanders are absolutely used to it, do not have a problem. Me, I had to have transition bedtime routine where in here we would watch something on TV, I would have a cup of sleepy time tea, get into my pyjamas after a hot shower and go to the bedroom and actually prepare the room, so put the blackout blinds down and everything and start kind of trying to tell my body that it was bedtime. It's lovely because you have so much light and you have so much more energy, but at the same time, I was getting used to sleeping three to four hours a night and would be lying here wide awake at four in the morning chatting to my other friends who were also wide awake and it was driving us slowly insane. Driving, I have learnt to drive on the other side of the road. I've learnt to drive on gravel, although I'm not so great at it yet. <laughs> I've learned to drive in ice, black ice and snow. All of that's kind of been a challenge for me and something I've had to push myself and go off and do on my own and now when I drive back in Scotland it only really takes me 10-15 minutes um, unless there's no cars on the road it's a wee bit longer but to get used to being back on the other side of the road again. Downsides of winter are definitely that it is cold the wind is crazy. The wind is the one thing that could break me in this country. My goodness, it just howls and it just goes through you. It really does. It makes you feel so much colder than it even is. Dry skin. I have had massive problems with my skin. I've had to see a skin specialist who told me I was allergic to the water in this country. Paying £40 to be told that you're allergic to the water. With the help of you guys, you've suggested lots of oils that I'm going to now invest in and try out lots of different things as well. Ice on the roads and pavements. So here in Iceland they have heated streets downtown so all of that melts but the pavements are still solid ice. It is an absolute death trap. Also, what is a death trap are icicles <laughs> around town, all over the place. They do remove them, so that is a good thing, but my goodness, some of them really look terrifying. Another great thing about the summer is that you can head off down to the hot tubs and enjoy a bit of sunshine, top up your vitamin D, and just sit chatting or listening to people chat, <laughs> not being able to actually speak back. 22 to 24 hours of constant daylight it means that you can go out and see so much more. So although winter is my favourite season because of all the snow and it's just cold and it feels more like Iceland, being here in the summer will give you so much more time to actually go out and go on day trips and venture around the country. So it means that you will have the opportunity to see a lot more. You get to see all the moss and lava and the crazy <laughs> kind of otherworldly landscape that there is around here. So there's definitely pros and cons to both. And for any of you who ask what clothes you should bring, layers, 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 layers. In the winter, yes, you will need a really good pair of snow boots or hiking boots. Make sure they've got a good grip on them. Crampons, if you can get those to put over your boots, fantastic because that will help you even just walking around the city centre on the icy pavements. You definitely need something. Through the summer you might be lucky if you can take off your jumper down to your t-shirt or something but you won't be wearing any sort of summer wardrobe. 14 degrees in the summer? That's about it. It doesn't get too cold in the winter though so I think we probably we've been down to about minus six or seven this winter but not too bad. So feel free to hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the other videos. 
subscribing to this channel is free so make sure that you are joining in the adventure thanks very much for watching please make sure you're following me on all of the social medias and i will see you in the next video bye